Hello everyone, Kirby Vault here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria Blind. In the last episode, we got out of that crazy, uh, like, walled guarding place, got our ships through here, uh, we gave number two a name, we're now calling him Laffy Set, because why not? I mean, the connections were already made, so I guess we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Magulu's still being a little jerk and is not in our party, but whatever. And we now went to a port town, and I forgot his name already, so the safe spot will tell me. We're in Port Zexon, at the docks, the central area. And my frame rate apparently does not like this big, wide open area, apparently. Very odd. Oh well. How's it going? I'm not gonna talk to you, you don't have the fun exclamation mark. You do, however. Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, you even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorized Midgant, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that robs small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant. You really seem to like <laughs> these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I and like that's you. That's why Eifried goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. All right, well... Yeah, so like this area, it does not like this area for some reason. Something about the lighting right here that's just not a fan of. Oh well. So yeah, four, four pirate kings. Oh yeah, they're delicious. Okay, we're gonna talk about crabs. Innards are yummy, and five sets of legs—that's so many. That's all true, but what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. That we can harvest doesn't as as seem we want. like that's how that works. Of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a kill <laughs> Oh my god. Tails. Would they be tasty? No idea. Ugh. No way. Yes, yeah, so let's all let's Dial, we 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 have we're having intervention. We need to cut off your tail again. It, it's it's for a money it's for a money making scheme. Don't worry, it'll all work out. Okay, so we can't actually go this way, but I don't know why. So I would like to find out why we can't go this way. Hello. We've locked the way north though, so I imagine you won't be able to... Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. Lose you're not getting mad at us. For no reason. Hello, how are you doing? I mean, it's a fine day to look out the ships. Wind's kicking and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Then why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. Boo hoo! Who cares? Why? The kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha! Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships. They can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. They even created that fortress, Vortigern, to help them do just that. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Aye, aye! Yeah, that for the four pirate kings thing earlier, I was just like, One Piece? I feel like we're the top of, we've got some One Piece going on here. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of cat sores. Let's probably get something good from this. What we get? 
All we got was the cats. I feel ripped off. I feel a little ripped off from that. Oh well. It happens. Okay, so... Alright, there's that one, like, little trailer dude. I actually talked to him. I said I want to talk to him in the last episode, but I did not talk to him yet. There you are. How's it going? Splash Thrust Pop. Who wants to play a game? Play Chambaloon 2? Play Splash Beat? The... the heck? What? Select challenge and do as much damage as possible from the time limit. The controls are the same as Santa Battle, but the... And BG is... What is... What is this? Okay, um, I guess... Play Chambaloon 2? Uh, sure? What is this? Okay. Pop the balloon, pop the balloon, pop the balloon! There, I popped the balloons. Okay, I got... Tails coins! Sure. They're, they're called Tails Coins. That's a little too on the nose for me, but what else? Alright, alright, no. I, I, I think level one's pretty easy. Let's do that again, Meow. Okay. Sure, we'll do that again. Can we play a different level? No, we can only play stage one. Alright, item exchange. So, Tails Coins. <gasps> Look at all the things we can get. Mini Marta? What? Isn't Marta from the one game? Not gonna. Win Norman set. What the? Okay, well. Tell you what, in between episodes, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> unless we have to, unless we like, get out of here. But I, 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 we're gonna spend as much time in the city now just so I can get that stuff. Because I'm sure just watching me play Balloon Pop over and over and over again isn't going to be fun. So, that's why we're not gonna do that. But in the meantime, like, there's a lot of people here, so let's just... What, okay, like, what's going on with you? I can finally have some fun ma making wagers, but all forms of gambling have been banned. Except for that cat, I guess. What a dreadfully stiff world we live in. Either obey them or end up demon show. Okay, that... Does no one find this a problem? Like, seriously. Guys, come on. Theocracies are not usually a good thing. Actually, they're pretty much always a bad thing, as far as I remember from history. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, not do that. Okay, actually, okay, there's more to the, the city I haven't explored yet, because I'm like, I see the shop area, but I just haven't gone there yet, so I was wondering where it was, and it's all the way over here. How are you? I do like the music here. Nice and bouncy. The docks are an area arena for sailors. Walk too slowly, and they'll shove you into the water. At least what they shout at me. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> That's why I don't talk to the generic NPCs. They just have kind of more generic text, but they can still be funny. Oh, hey, are, can I talk to you? Mr. Fishin? No? But I want to go to the lighthouse! Sad days. How about you? How are you doing? Yeah, sure. Okay, you're gonna have a long truck ahead of you, apparently. Got olive oil. I got plenty of things for cooking. It's just I don't have anything to cook, as far as I know. So, what's everyone's, like, doing at health? Uh, we're good there, I think. But let's, yeah, you know, let's check out cooking. Can we cook anything that is not just prickle bore stew? Sausage, rather. Uh, no. Pretty much that's all we got. And we are missing the required ingredients, which are prickle bore meat and nutmeg. So we have plenty of ingredients to make absolutely nothing with. Good for us. Uh, no? Well, uh, we did. Also, Velvet's pretty tall, actually, now I think about it. It's kind of crazy. The other characters are pretty tall, too, so... Whatever. And actually, we learned, like, a lot of new arts and stuff last time, so let's just, uh, do, 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 do. How about you become... That new thing we learned. We learned, uh, Shell Splitter. To split cracks between carpace plates. Here, we're gonna 
since everything starts with tearing a thorn, let's give the, let's do shell splitter for something. And anything else we have that we're not using at the moment? Megasonic thrusts? We are using that. Let's put it here. Okay. Um, any items that we can switch out? No, not, wrong thing. Equipment, I meant. Amber garments. We mastered that. And that's all we really have for you right now, Velvet. So we're good. Firing, though, you could learn. It's going to down your defense, but up your magic arts, it looks like. Oh, look at this one. that has a nice HP plus 30 on it. Good trade-off, and obviously you are good with the boots. Wait, no you're not. You're not good with the amber boots. Amber boots will give you more defense, but lose focus and HP. Sometimes you can't use item reduced by 12%. That's nice. So we'll actually do that. And I don't... Oh, constant combatant. Uh, to level battle time. <laughs> battle time. Okay, that's pretty silly. Uh, title for one who has spent time in combat. Attack, attack, attack. Increases power of arts based on their star level. Is there anything? Yeah, I like decreased soul gauge costs. That's probably the best thing. Actually, let's decrease soul gauge costs based on arts level. Is that the same thing here? Yeah, it is. Uh, we'll do we'll do this one actually. Equipment drop rates is actually good. And let's check everyone else out. And we checked out Velvet. Yeah, all we need to do is Velvet. Who cares about everybody else? All right, so that's good. Mm, I don't like decreasing defense ever, but uh, we'll we'll go with this because we're giving the HP at least, so that works. Uh, Earth element. Let's uh, our attack increased by that. Well, guarding. What about this? Now, these are mostly all done by character level, so it doesn't matter. Attacks evaded. That's interesting. Increases stagger duration. I do like that. Multiplies arts to one attack power. Decreases soul gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just based on... Okay, so we'll keep, keep that. Anything can you switch out? Oh, you're still, you're still working on that. Never mind. You're still working on that. Uh, you are good with that, though. Can we give you a different waistcoat? Going to decrease attack and defense, but eh, we'll go with that, just so you can get some more stuff going on you. You're still working on that. And you're still working on that. I didn't check everything else here for you. Okay, yeah, you're still working on that stuff. All right, and finally for you. Plant paper, you fit, you max plant paper, but you lose so much attack when I when I change that up. That is, that's, that's just... That's just horrible. Well, the amber paper plus one at least. Oh no! Even then, this plain. Uh... What's so special about this plain paper? I'll have. I'll have you know. What? What is that? Uh, let's give anything good here. Nope. And you finish that earth ring. So I'll give you a fire ring. Uh, I don't want to decrease your. <laughs> What about an Earth? Right, oh, you already did that. A Resistance Ring. Eh, again, not a fan of losing defense ever. But if we have to, oh, here we go. This will, this will at least give some defense back. Not a lot, but some. We're still working on that. We don't have anything else for that, and we switched out the paper. Okay, Coolio. So the menus episode. Sorry. Just check, I gotta, gotta check stuff, because I haven't checked in a while. We did get a lot of stuff done with that boss battle and everything last time, so... Alright, let's check out what we got here. We got apple gels, which we have enough of, I guess. Um, that will increase attack. Let's just... Uh, we don't have a lot of money, so I want to be a little careful with my money. Let's see, do we have anything... Good, do we have, do we have better paper? Do, do you have paper? I would like better paper. You don't need battle garment. Anything? Calcicate garment. Let's get that for velvet. And yeah, we have plenty of like rings and whatnot. So let's get oh, calcicate boots would be good as well. Can pass that around. And prickle boar meat. Let's just let's buy some prickle boar meat. Just so we have it. And buy six of the nutmeg. There we go. Gonna make six of those. All right, and let's see what we can enhance here. We can enhance the Blood Blade to be plus two. We can enhance four and Daggers to be plus two. Amber Daggers are almost mastered. We can enhance Plain Paper. I don't want to enhance Plain Paper. I want to enhance... Ooh, we can enhance the Grace Sheets. 
This one doesn't give the random skill, though. I like... yeah. Let's do this one. That's good. And we can... we already enhanced that. What about Amber Bracelet? It's recovering the feeding. Maximum HP plus 30. Attack plus 5. Hmm. Can only increase one of them. Let's go with this one just for the heck of it. We'll put that one on instead for him. Anything else we can do right now? Shadow Daggers? We could increase them. We haven't used them, so... Guess we'll enhance them just for the heck of it. And let's dismantle stuff. Let's see. What we do not need? We have, like, a ton of Amber Daggers, so let's just, uh... Let's just get rid of those. So, I mean, here he has, here he has the plus two, so there's, there's really no reason to keep these around. Keep one around, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of the plain paper, too. And we have, like, a lot of amber paper. No, we only have one, but... It should be fine. We have a lot of wristlets, though. And a lot of amber bracelets, so there we go! Let's see, anything else we can... Now that we've done that, can we enhance anything? Oh, boy, we can. Uh, let's give, uh... Velvet's Amber Blade. Uh, yeah, it's probably better. Um, what will that give off if I increase it, though? It's gonna increase its attack. It's... Attack's going to be increased quite a bit. The Blood Blade, though, if I increase that, that actually goes up quite significantly. But this also gives me Defense. And Master Skills, Attack plus 5. Let's see, Attack increased by... Now, they don't even use the same thing, so I'm not even sure why I'm comparing them. It's Recovery. This is so interesting to watch, KV. Sorry. Here, we'll increase the Amber Daggers. There, that solves that mystery. And plain paper plus amber paper plus one. Let's just increase that again, so we can. And finally, amber bracelet. Wait, no, we already increased one. So gray sheet plus one. Let's do that also. There we go. There, I solved the mystery. I solved it. It's just we don't increase any of them. Okay. And a new title, Master Smith. Interesting. Uh, actually, I want, I want to check that out now, too. Time for one who has enhanced single item several times, one step at a time. Increases stagger duration, capability plus beast, plus 10%. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I'll keep that in mind for later. So then, we increase a lot of things. I know. I let's give you these amber bracelets plus one. They are much better. I know they don't have the maximum HP plus 30, but it's fine. I don't think you really need this locket. Oh, you're still working out, though, so that's why. And you're fine, just I increase what you're already wearing. And same for you, so everything is good there. How are you, Hover Velvet? I gave you, got you a new item, uh, the, this garment. It's going to decrease your focus and your HP, but attack is up and defense is up, so that is nice. And you don't need, you're already working on that, and we gave you Amber Boots already. Okay. Alright, well that all said, I did it. We, we checked out all of the menus. Good job. And we can't go through here either? What? They said to use the South Gate. Oh. Right, 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 right. We gotta go talk to him. But there's an inn over here, so let's first go to the inn. Because there's cat swarms inside. <laughs> Hello. I've heard there's a prison island somewhere where they keep the worst of the worst, but it's a hard tale to swallow. It's true. And the rumors that hundreds of demons are in prison there? Fact. People say that no one has ever escaped from there alive. False. That one's a lie. After all, we're here. <laughs> Wait, you don't mean... Keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, you'll fare worse than anyone on that island. Y yes sir, I didn't hear a thing. Good job, guy! Alright, I got soy sauce, and look at all that wine, I guess. I guess, you know, beer is probably outlawed. Makes sense. That ship got across. Alright, I should sell this stuff! And, okay, where. Where would we sleep here? I guess behind this door. Do we even need to sleep, though? No. Maxwell's Rendezvous is the name of this inn. Comfiest beds is. Yeah, no thanks, but. Alright, so actually, now that I remembered about those silver coins I've been stockpiling that I keep forgetting about, sell! Let's go to... Uh, access... No, it would be... 
Just materials, I guess, right? We have materials? Yeah. Ha! Yeah, we have a lot of those, don't we? Let's, uh... Let's... Yeah, there we go. We are in the money. Why didn't we do this earlier? KV, you're an idiot. I'll type... Oh, okay. We don't want to get rid of the medicine stuff, though. I thought we had more coins. It's just copper. I thought we had, like, a bronze coin, too. Oh, well. Maybe we, maybe we actually used it. I don't know. But also, those remind me, though, one last thing to look at the items. I know, you're probably thinking, Gosh, KV, just move on with it. Sorry. Alright, attack by two and defense by two. So let's give defense by two... To Aizen, apparently, needs it the most. Okay. And attack by two, let's give that to Velvet. Alrighty, right. Okay. Now we'll go talk to the guy. And we'll see what's going on. And I'll probably end the episode off here. And we didn't do much today, but it's a Friday episode. And we're having fun. This guy's shipping a box. Where is he going with the box? I'm actually kind of curious now. I'm seriously just going to follow this guy with a box. I... I don't see this that often in games, where, like, you have a unique NPC just walking around. So, it's gonna be like, hey, I have a corsage. Check it out. I have a hat. You like my hat? I like my hat. You okay? No, I'm, I'm, legit I'm legitimately curious, because that's actually kind of cool to program a guy to walk around the entire time to have a set, to have a set pattern. I know there's probably other more, like, uh, complex games that probably have that kind of stuff going on in them, but... For me, this is in this is intriguing. Is he just gonna go to a place and just walk back around with the box? He's just gonna carry his box around with him everywhere. I am so dumb. I am sorry, everybody. Can I take this? No. Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, where is he going? He's gone. He's gone. He actually went inside a building! Yay! Now I know! That's nice! So that means he'd actually put his box down. So it would actually give him reason for when you probably see him respond somewhere else to be carrying that box, because he technically already put the other box back down in the building. There. My curiosity is satisfied. I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you! All right, what's going on, my good chum? You and your funny hat. Eisen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the outer seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? That's right. Ifreed's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. Is one piece. The Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing. You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. You take that back. If we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. Okay, so that's kind of a cool little uh, side thing, thing to have there. Location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. I like Ben Wook. His, his design's actually pretty fun. Take much of our time, and besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. All right, what do we need to know? Expedition has been added to the... Oh, okay, so our menu's finally complete. Try opening it now. You can now send your scout ship on voyages to explore the outer seas. You can initiate these expeditions via the dispatch command. 
Select another thing to level up. Now we got a ship to level up. <laughs> All right. The explorer areas are determined by your current exploration level, which is displayed in the upper right of the screen. Now select the Layman Sea and begin the voyage. Oh, it's five seconds. I thought it was five minutes. Okay. Take a look at this. We got three things were a win and one thing was a lose. We got soy sauce and we got dried fish. The number of victories is from the okay. Yeah. In their explorations, the crew might also uncover special rewards like recipes, new areas, and treasures. Some treasures might provide exploration skills that will make future voyages go more smoothly. When activated, these skills provide various benefits such as increasing the amount of EXP earned and the number of times items are found. So is Dial on that ship? Sending the ship out on one more expedition. Yes. Okay, 30 minutes. That sounds more right. Alright, so cool. So that's something I'll, just ke I'll just keep checking now every time uh, we I record. <laughs> A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me. <laughs> we can find all these cool things. I just want fish. With all these cool things we can find adventure! I want fish. Alright. So we did not do much this episode. Sorry for kind of uh, mess uh, for lollygagging around, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. So, uh, if you like this video, I've totally lost where I was going with that. Please consider hitting the like button below. If you don't like this video, you can hit the dislike button too. I'm not gonna stop you from doing that. I hope you wouldn't, but I understand if you want to hit it too. And if you want to subscribe to me to see more content, so you know there's a subscribe button there, and there's that bell thing for stuff if you're already subscribed, but I don't usually advertise the bell, but it's there. It's like it's like with a ship that's going out to sail and ring a bell, be back, and be like, woohoo! Anywho's, Tales of Berseria is available on Steam and PlayStation 4, and I will see you all on the next episode. So, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you then. Ciao!